some fresh cookies delivered late night. Hiya! everyone, Joel Ants here. Today we're outside Cookie Munchers. Cookie Munchers, yes, that's right, so munchers of cookies. And here, first off, we gotta show you what they're saying about this place. They say, dream big, as big as your face. I might believe that, I have a big mouth though. Delivered, as big as your face, okay? I guess as big as my face. Chocolatey, as big as your face, okay? I don't know if you're trying to tell me now I just have a big head or what. Warm, as big as your face. Delicious, gooey. There's a lot of things, but they only say it's as big as my face. It doesn't say it's warm and gooey and... No, I'm just kidding. Alright everybody, so yeah, this is their 10 cookie challenge. I believe it's 10 cookies, but like they're really big, apparently as big as your face. So 10 cookies the size of my face, plus a pint of milk, or pint, or a quart of milk, um, something like that. And you have, I think, 20 minutes to do it, so it's very quick, short. If not, I believe the cookies are about $4 each. So about $40, I guess. I'm saying let's go in and figure it out, see what we can do. It should be some fun and let's eat some cookies. Five words that belong together in a sentence. Men, skincare, and Tiege Hanley. So if you're like me and you're getting into skincare because you realize you're getting old, you need some uncomplicated skincare for men. Specifically, Tiege Hanley is filling that option. Being, they have a lovely subscription service. So you pick the level, the package of products that you want, it's shipped directly to your door. Of course, there is free shipping in the United States and shipping to other countries is only a couple dollars. It's a worry-free monthly subscription, so you get shipping reminders, easy cancellation, there is no hassle return, so you really have nothing to lose. But don't let the price fool you. With Tiege Hanley, you're getting high quality products. Simply, they cut out the middleman. So they create the products, they send them directly to you, so you're gonna save money, still get those high quality products. Not only do they work, but they really smell great. Mm. Very masculine, kind of like tea tree oil. Love the smell of them. I really like the Super Serum. I've definitely been using it in and around my eyes, in addition to the eye cream itself. And because I live in a very cold climate, I find I really need that heavy duty moisture. Best thing of that is it also has an AM and a PM moisturizer, and the AM moisturizer has an SPF. So when I do get down in the sunshine, you know I'm also protecting my skin from those sun rays. So it's 2021, be a modern man, care for your skin, skincare for men is a thing, and it does not have to be complicated. So we'll get started on some skincare today, and because Tiege Hanley is sponsoring today's video, you can get a free toiletry bag just like this with your first box. So click that link down below in the description box, that top link, let's get started today, and you can start for only like 25 bucks. So, skincare, let's get going. So remember they said it's as big as my face, so, yeah, it's pretty accurate, pretty accurate. Hi everyone, so here we are with the uh, cookie challenge. Uh, it looks pretty good, lots of big old cookies. Uh, the record on the wall says about 11 minutes. Um, so yeah, anyway, we're gonna have 20 minutes with the pint of milk. That's about it. We got uh, snickerdoodles, I got sugar cookies, I got M&M's, I got s'mores, and uh, peanut, or like oatmeal raisin. So I got a variety. That's about it, guys. So uh, let's give her a go here. Wish me luck, or about it. So uh, 20 minutes. All right, so uh, let's get started. We'll save the count of five, four, three, two, one. And there we go. Hey everyone, welcome to this video. Today we're here at Cookie Munchers in Tampa, Florida. Yeah, so Tampa. Pretty cool, it's my first time being in that Tampa era, and it was a sweet time. No pun intended with these very sweet cookies. Not to mention, they really are about as big as your face. Even my face, which is a pretty dang big face to be honest. Very good. And here we are doing their Cookie Muncher Challenge. So definitely an interesting challenge. Um, cookie challenges are very, very rare, and I've only ever seen like literally a couple in my life. So I figured, hey, I better give this one a shot while I'm in the area while I have the opportunity. So here it is, 10 of their big cookies. Um, they basically, like the whole gist of this place is it's like a freshly made cookie. So yes, you could take them to go, say they deliver them, but I would not recommend that. I recommend going in the shop because they basically make the cookies like per order. So if you order like a snickerdoodle cookie, they put the dough or batter or whatever you call it on a pan and blast it in their special, you know, convection oven, whatever it is. So if you could get your cookies nice and warm, that's definitely what I would do, not only in for your own leisure, but also for this challenge. So 
Uh, I was here with my friend Dan. Dan did the challenge before I did. Both our cookies were um, sitting, and I kind of waited for him to finish up. So my cookies at this point were about 15, let's say 20 minutes old, um, and to which the cookies were starting to really crisp up, where I think, again, the strategy on this challenge would be to hit them hot right from the beginning, when they're hot, when they're soft, when they're gooey. Because otherwise they do, you know, get firmer and they crisp up, kind of like, a, you know, you would expect from a cookie. Um, these ones just happen to get quite firm very quickly. You did have to have the uh, pint of milk as well, um, or which was like a 500 milliliter, a two cup container, a half a liter, half a quart, whatever you want to call it. Um, so you could also choose either vanilla, strawberry, or chocolate milk. I just went with a good old traditional white milk, but you do have the option. Oh, I said, sorry, I said vanilla. White milk, white milk, chocolate, strawberry, but you do have the options of the three. When it came to the flavors of the cookies, you had an M&M cookie, you had a Snickerdoodle cookie, you had a um, like white shortbread cookie, you had a s'mores cookie, you had a chocolate cookie, and you had a oatmeal raisin cookie, and I believe that was pretty much it. So I pretty much had everyone except the chocolate cookie. I'm not a big, like, ch I would prefer a, I don't know, like traditional base cookie rather than a chocolate base cookie, but I did get to try a large variety of the cookies. Summer hard to eat. My whole is summer hard to Also going back to the strategy of this challenge, I think for a completion, not only again hit them, uh, hit the cookies as soon as you get them when they're still warm and soft, but also picking the type of cookies. Some of these cookies were drastically easier to eat than the others. Um, so for example, the s'mores ones was very difficult to eat. I didn't think having the marshmallows and the chocolate in there would make it so gooey, but it really was very gooey, made it very, very, very chewy, and that's what this challenge was, very, very, very chewy. Uh, the oatmeal raisin ones were not the most difficult, but definitely not the easiest. Um, the M&M one, again, sit in that category, whereas definitely the easiest ones appeared to be the snickerdoodle and or the uh, shortbread, which were essentially the same. The snickerdoodle and shortbread, the only real difference, a little bit of cinnamon, uh, a little bit of extra sugar, I think. But those were definitely, in my opinion, the easiest to eat. So I would, uh, and as you could pick 10 of that whole, you know, 10 of the same kind, I would probably recommend that one if you want to come do this challenge if you want to beat it and like I said especially when they're soft and warm again as the cookies cooled they also kind of got sharp edges so you're gonna notice me like really trying not to cut my mouth and folding them um, you know just to ensure our absolute safety but overall that's pretty much it um, again you do have 20 minutes to do this challenge there had been a number of winners as you kind of saw the wall of fame a little bit earlier um, and definitely not all like you know professional eaters or experienced food challenge people a lot of people that just appeared to be gentlemen or you know people that enjoyed eating but that's about it everybody you know delish 10 delicious cookies hopefully warm and soft cookies and 20 minutes just that's about it so that, I'll let you get to the rest of the video. Let's ultimately see what happens. Uh, yes, I know we're, we're, we're pretty well into the cookies at this point, but you never know, guys. You never, never, ever know what could happen. So with that, enjoy. So definitely I think there could be a lot of strategy to picking the easier cookies. I went with advertently with the harder cookies, but I didn't think it would actually be that hard. 
A lot of chewing. Definitely some of them are really, really, really gooey, so you can't really just swallow it. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> but I will say, very, very delicious. <coughs> I think my favorites were probably either the sugar cookie slash snickerdoodle, like kind of a little bit of cinnamon, or maybe the like m m slash s'mores. They're all really good. The oatmeal cookie was good too. But yeah, some of those were really gooey and really hard to eat. Definitely got a good jaw work, that's for sure. Good night, everybody. Um, about six minutes, seven seconds, something like that. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Really good. But uh, yeah, that was a lot harder than I thought. Anyway, pretty cool, guys. Till next time, stay happy with you're happy eating. That's about it. So, uh, cookies. Thanks to the cookie munchers. I guess I'm a muncher now. Have a good day. Dude, that was so shockingly hard to eat. That's hard to do, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. I'm guessing I'll do this. Yeah, my strategy was bad. I kind of want to order 10 more and do it again. Order all the same thing. Easy to say. Do 10 double Yeah, if, if you pick uh, 10 double top. <laughs> no, I think I'll do it again for free, right? <laughs> I think if you did the 10, probably. Probably it was sugar cookie or snicker dude. I don't know which one I want, but one of that was the easiest one. Easiest one. So if you even the oatmeal raisins were horrible. No, if you had ten of those, would be the best. But the double chocolate was horrible. Yeah, uh, <laughs> so it's like the s'more stuff was really gooey too. So it made it a little difficult. Get that in the edge were really hard. Yeah. What size would the shirts be? And if I was to have it right now, and name you one on the wall, then I'll take it. Can I get a medium, please? Large. Hi everyone, thank you so much for watching today's video. I really appreciate it. If you click my face right here, you can subscribe. Yes, that's right, click my face, subscribe, guys. It helps me out, it helps you out, then you don't miss an upload, and hopefully I can meet you when I come to your city. Also, click a video right here. I specifically picked two videos, yes, that's right, two videos specifically for you, right here. So click a video right now, get that going, and it's gonna end, so click one quick. Let's go, let's go, and have a great day.